I'd been playing piano since I was like four, four maybe. And that's just a side thing. I just play piano. I've raised like trained classically and then taught myself like jazz blues ish roughly. And so, yeah. So then I was like, all right, I'll buy myself a little home studio and uh, see if I can learn how to make shit. And the and goal this is what you like, what are the, what, what was available? It was, I would say it was pretty fully like digital at that point. We're talking 2009, 10, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's like Timbaland and, yeah. and these people making like digital hits. Yeah. So it's like logic and a little MIDI keyboard and right. drum pads. And you could, you could really buy like a full, fully functioning home studio setup for like under a grand, yeah. you know, even less. So yeah, I got the and keyboard. Did you, what and, sort of songs did you think you were going to make? I had no idea. I think I wanted to do hip hop. Really, I th my, the goal was like to be a producer, like a traditional producer, like ma making beat tapes for and people, sending them here. You like anything? Yeah, give me twenty grand. Exactly. Like sending okay. them to producers, sending yeah. them to contests, submitting whatever. Yeah. I tried to do that for like a decade, basically. You know, just very unsuccessfully. And are you like, what are you doing for money? I waiting tables. I got. Good. You know, customer support. I was hoping you would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Good, good, good. Yeah. Great, good, good, great. Yeah. I mean, all Real sorts of shit, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a ton. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, executive assistant. I did like mortgage loan servicing. Um, I got my my real estate license for like half a year. Miserable. 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 Because real estate that, license. You know what the thing about it is, is that when you work, it's like, I, you don't want to do any of these jobs, but like, the difference between waiting tables and a real estate license is like waiting tables. You don't have to give a shit about it, but the, you get your real estate license. Suddenly, like you have to concentrate and work on this thing that you despise. So yeah. it's like I just very quickly realized, like, why would I do that? And then I just went back to waiting tables. So, yeah. And did you get better at beats? Mm -hmm. Did the beats get better? I think so. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, over a decade. I just kept like doing it and doing it. And are you performing at all? Not at all. So you're not making just, a cent. What was your bottom? <laughs> well, oh man, a very clear bottom actually, which was lo I lost this job. I it was it was another customer support job in Dallas working which I assume they all are. They're all that. <laughs> it's just a bunch of like nameless corporate yep. business parks. Office park. Yep. Yeah, just Fantastic. a little tan, yep. just a, a inoffensive waterfall. Yep. Some stone seats. Guy comes around with sandwiches. Have it, yeah. Any? Can I get you anything? Yep. You know, hell, hell, hell on earth. Um, yeah. Walked in one day and they were like, "Hey, come on over. Let's have a meeting." We come have a meet. We're letting you go right now. Security's were you outside. That pack you were going to have a meeting, or was it like? Yeah, this I just is bad. there was no. I mean, nothing. No warning. Nothing. It was like, oh, we're having a meeting, discussing. I don't know some bullshit. Meeting. Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, we're letting you go. Bullshit was you. <laughs> exactly. You're a sack of shit and you yeah. need to leave immediately. So like security standing over us. I'm packing my shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. But they gave us, which is remarkable really for this kind of hourly gig. They gave us two, I think two months of severance. Damn. So they're like, we're going to pay you for two months while you figure your shit out. So yeah, at that point, I basically had started making these videos I had transitioned from making like beats to having discovered Reggie Watts, right? Our dear friend and mentor. incredible innovator. Yeah. yeah. Mentor, <laughs> grandfather. Uh -huh. um, and he, yeah, basically he like b just opened my eyes to looping and improvising and he just blew my fucking but mind. But it's so odd because it seems like you were so you're like brimming with it i mean i guess so dude it's like not even something that it weirdly it does combine like both of these things it combines the training in music with the theater it's like a yeah. very much a blend of those but it's not something i ever thought about you know it was like i just wanted to make music take myself seriously and shit and then i saw reggie doing his thing and i was like oh my god and then you realize that like looping really mirrors the process of making music 
like traditionally on Logic or any DAW software like that. It's just much faster, more sort of rudimentary, but the uh, the elements are the same basically. Yeah. And you can just do it a lot faster. So yeah, I, I saw him doing that and I was like, I must do something like this. You know, like I, I have to try. And so, yeah, I got a looper and basically fucked around with it for a year while I was working this job, got let go. And then that's when I said, okay, I have two months. So I'm now going to see. And this was kind of at the end of, at this point, I'm like 28 and I had given up probably half a dozen times. You know what I mean? Just like it's time to call it. One of those times is when I got my real estate license. I was like, it's, I just, I'm getting too old to like continue dreaming about this. And I clearly don't have what it takes. Like yeah. I don't have the work ethic. I don't have. So I was like, all right, I have two months. Let's see if I can pay my rent by the end of the two months. If I can do that, I'll keep trying. If not, that's it. Big boy job grow the fuck up there's a thing in you that is pent up yeah <laughs> yeah and yeah. you and it's like you can tell and it's it's like an expression of what everyone has pent up yeah and yeah you I think like, that's a good way of putting it and it, it oddly like you say reggie watts it reminds me more of jack black mm. than than oh not like God. you say reggie watts like you don't know what you're talking about but yeah. i'm saying like <laughs> no, no no yeah when like when jack plays like the sax man on Fallon or even when he would scat in Tenacious D there was like this fearsome and it was kind of angry but there was like a grandeur and a fearsomeness to it that I think you also are doing where it's like you just seem like I gotta get it out yeah so it's something like that. I, it's it, nice to hear. I, I love Jack Black. I mean, and it yeah, like spins the point. audience. Yeah. It's the sort audience of this, gets spun this... up into the into the fun of it. Right. And it's they don't even really know what's happening. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah. Did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. I'm, a little, I'm not really used to the green screen.